welcome back. We are here with ministry friends and colleagues, people I love very much, Amen. and that is evangelist, author, uh, movie star, uh, <laughs> R.V. Brown, and his incredible, precious helpmate that makes him shine, Francis. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I, I love your life. I love your journey. I love that you've been to almost 50 countries, mm -hmm. like one or two shy, and you've yeah. been to almost every state, but right. one or two in right. the United States. That's amazing. And, and you went to all those places and spaces to preach the, the gospel, gospel of Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. And Woo. I know today you're gonna call men into position mm -hmm. and, and, and talk about the, the heart of God for men. But I just wanna, I'll tell you, you know, just two things that really touched me about your life. Your books are amazing. I encourage everyone to get it. I'll close the show today with this little, how you can read this book. But two things that touched me is I remember you speaking years ago back in the warehouse mm -hmm. Uh, and mm -hmm. you were sharing that that was a season that you were the chaplain uh, mm -hmm. for the Gators when they went on to become national championships. I forgive you because I'm a Seminole, Ooh. and so, but still. <laughs> <laughs> and, but I remember you were sharing too, um, mentoring those boys. I love your, your heart for the youth and the outreach, your ministry, mm -hmm. you know, to, for the youth of America. Mm -hmm. But I remember also you sharing how the Lord had you for years, every Monday morning to call every single coach and encourage them. And whether they picked up the phone or not, you prayed over them and yes. you poured into them. Mm -hmm. What a ministry, what access. <clears throat> I mean, that God challenged you to do it and you did it. Yes. See, mm -hmm. that's, that's what I want men to get out of this session is that when God asks you to do something, just do it. He's with you. He's going to give you the power and the presence to do it. And, mm -hmm. and, and my look back at my life, I look at, man, I was a high school coach. I had 68 players, and I think 40-something of them didn't even know who their daddy was. I said, God, I'm talking about football. I need to talk about Jesus, but you're part of the public school, so you couldn't preach to them. So God said, come out of there, and now I can have you preach. Now I can have you mentor. And even with some of those gators to this day, I'm in contact with some of them today. Why? Because when you pour into a man's life, it's like when you put money in the bank, you get some dividends. So when you pour into a man's life, the dividends is come back and watch him bear fruit. They are the fruit. So I'm telling men today, Daddy, you, and as a man, the God says in Genesis 1:26, let us create man in our image. What kind of mm -hmm. image do you have? Can people see the image of God? Can your children mm -hmm. see the image of God? Set the tone, set the atmosphere. When I walk in a building, all demons have to move. Every spirit that don't know nothing about God got to go because the atmosphere just been changed because I and Jesus Christ came into it. I want you to listen to me today, men. It's your responsibility to lead lead the family. God want men to lead. Why? He mm -hmm. set the example. He sent Jesus to show us how to lead. How? Through prayer, through love, yeah. and through worshiping him. If daddy, if you set the tone, say, we're going to church. And don't give kids an opportunity to say, well, I don't want to go. No, mm. you live in this house, as my mama told me. <laughs> yes. You're going to church. You and go. see, when you set down the tone, and daddy, when you when you set the tone down, they're going to look to you for example. They're going to look to you for example. They're going to look to you for men to say, I am a child of God and not be ashamed. Don't be ashamed to be called a child of God. It says in Psalm 31, 1 and 2, David said, Oh Lord, in thee do I put my trust. Let me never, never be, ashamed. be ashamed. Don't be ashamed to say I'm a man of God. Don't be ashamed to, to love your wife. I love my wife. Why? Because she's to help me. She's the, that she ain't not the thorn in my side. She's that elbow in my side that says, you can do it, honey. Yeah. You can do it. That's what you got to have. And if you're a single man, you, you marry God's word. You get on your knees and you pray Sorry. and you go to church and you ask God to bring somebody in your life that will love Jesus more than they love you. There and you I go. promise you got a chance of being together. So I'm asking every man that listens to the sound of my voice, get on your knees and pray and say, God, I need help. Take away your fear. Lose all this thing that you can't do. Don't let nobody tell you what you can't do. My Bible says in Luke 137, is there anything too hard for God? No, I don't think so. And <laughs> let me hold this just a minute, Jim. And then he says in Luke 18, 1, said, man ought to always to pray, pray. not faint. Don't faint. Don't give up. God. Don't throw the towel mm -hmm. in. God is on your side, man. God is with you. But you got to trust him and you got to believe in him. And then lastly, Luke 18, 27 said, with man is impossible, but with God, God. nothing is impossible. Look at me, man. 
open your arms and open your heart and say, God, come in. I need help today. I need help to show me how to raise my yes. family. I didn't have a dad. I want you to teach me, God. And then get in a good church, get in a group and say, Lord, teach me how to be a real man from the word of God. There you go. Mm -hmm. That was Amen. awesome. Amen. And, you know, there's many women that are watching going, goodness, I wish that I could have the man mm -hmm. in my life, my husband, my son, my dad, be watching this. The beautiful thing is mm -hmm. that if they're not with you right now, pray for them. And then you can go back on mm -hmm. the YouTube channel. You can go back to ctn.org and mm -hmm. you can find this message. You can find it on social media and you can send it to them and say, Amen. please watch this for me. I'll Amen. make you a steak dinner, right? I'll, I'll, I'll take you out just to encourage. I feel like so many men, RV, um, are discouraged that they don't have the courage that they need to walk out this journey and they mm -hmm. want to, but they've been lied to. So long. Talk to them, tell them how to pull, take off those garments of discouragement and to be mm -hmm. strong and courageous in, in God. Amen. And see, Amen. when I look at an athlete, especially on the professional level, you can't play this game. If you're fearful, you got to lose all your fear. But let me tell you something, man. You see this book in my hand? This is where it all starts. Mm -hmm. You open your heart to Jesus. You receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and say, you open this book and say, God, show me how to be an example of who, you're, who you are and the love that you have for us. Listen to me, men. I want you to look at the word lead. That lead me. Listen to God. John 10, 27 said, my sheep hear my voice. You got to read God's word daily. It mm -hmm. cannot. One of my friends sent me a, a little sign that says, if it's hard to get in shape spiritually if you just work out on Sunday. So come. it can't be just Sunday thing. It's got to be an everyday thing. You start reading this book and asking God for wisdom and instruction, he will do that. For, don't let people tell you, well, the men they can't do this and men you can't do this. Let me tell you something. The word can't ain't in the Bible. The word in the Bible is that you will. <laughs> and you can if you trust God. The Bible says in mm -hmm. Philippians 2, 5, let this mind be in you which was also, also in Christ. Christ. How does it get the mind of Christ? In here, men, you want to learn how, you want to get some comfort in yourself? Start reading this book. I tell every man, start reading the book of John. Because the first word in the book of John, is said, in the beginning was the word, and the word with God, and the, the word, word was, was God. God. Then you look at the 12th verse, mm -hmm. he said, he gave them power and the right to become the sons of God. And then he said, he dwell among us in the 14th verse. Listen to me, men. Start dwelling on men, men that believe this book. And in your house, Dan, you got to believe the Bible. You can't just read. You got to believe. So many people read the Bible, do they believe what you're hearing? This book is all truth. Let me say, have you ever heard your Bible talk? Watch it. Read me. <laughs> Read me. <laughs> Everything. Read me. Don't leave your house without reading this. It, it said American Express. Don't leave home without American Express. Don't leave home without this. This is your covenant, man. God made a covenant <laughs> with us. He says in this book, Titus 1, 2, in the beginning, God who promised us eternal life, the God that cannot, cannot lie. lie. Whatever's in this book is going to happen, man. And he says, if you trust me, man, I will take care of you, man. Let me listen to me, man. Listen to my heart. Yeah. My heart is for you, man. Why? Because mm. my daddy taught me how to love. Mm. My daddy taught me. You say, well, I don't have a dad. God is your dad. Open up this book. Mm -hmm. Trust him. Lead. Listen. Mm. That E in lead is educate yourself by reading God's word. That A, A in lead is you have an attitude that I want to learn. I don't want to be that weak guy no more. I don't want to be that wimpy, man. I'm going to be a man of God. Mm. Paul was a little man, but I tell you, when he opened his mouth, he was a 12-foot <laughs> giant. Why? Because mm. the spirit that was in him. When you get the spirit of God, you become a spiritual giant. Walk with God. And that last letter in the word uh, lead is D. Be determined. I'm not going to be the same man I was yesterday. I'm not going to be the same man I was last year. I'm going to be a new man. Why? Because I got a relationship with Christ. Mm -hmm. I got a relationship with my family and I refuse to allow mm -hmm. Satan to destroy my family. If you don't make time for your family, I promise you Satan the devil is never too busy to destroy your family. If